So this is my interview with uh, Christine Guerrero. Uh, she just launched the Cages Kitchen as of today at the Pinoy Fiesta in Toronto. KG? Hi, I'm Christine Guerrero. We're launching Cages Kitchen here in Toronto. Um, basically, it's Cages because it's my first name, Christine Guerrero. And we do sugar-free and sugar-full desserts. Um, our specialty is called the Torta Trina. It's right here. So basically, it's, uh, um, it's, it's a whipped cream, it is custard, brulee, all in one. It's a really, really very original um, concoction. Aside from that, we, uh, we have other specialties. We have our Filipino-style chocolate cake, and it has custard inside. The chocolate cupcakes, um, banana crunch, which is also very saleable. Um, we have the Revel bars, which is basically a chocolate oatmeal bar, and then we have the almond fudge brownies, which which is really really very chewy. So all the desserts. So I suppose you share the same business outlook with your husband. Was yeah. Uh, you know, we love eating out and trying different restaurants and pastry shops. So, you know, it wasn't really difficult for me to uh, sort of influence him to get into the business with me. So, it's really a partnership. We like doing the same things and we enjoy, you know, baking and cooking in the kitchen, spending time a lot in the kitchen. Yeah, we, right? uh, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen. And yeah. uh, when I first met her, she uh, gave me the uh, torta trina. And uh, I just fell in love, actually. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, we, we share, we share, we share um, uh, a liking in desserts and um, everything that she served to me when, uh, when I was still visiting her and the Ligo Pago. <laughs> everything she served was good and um, that's how we... Uh, so I thought when we moved here, when we got married, um, I said, you know what, let's bring your business here and maybe, you know, uh, let all the Filipinos here in Toronto enjoy her, uh, her, uh, her desserts. So I hope everyone likes it. So you mentioned about this uh, torta trina being given to you by Christine. Okay, so yeah. this is my what about it? This is my husband Nikki, by the way, and this is this is the product that I actually asked him to taste, and he loved it. And he said that you know what, promote that. One of the things that made me want to come here is you know he, he urged me to come because he said that you know I, for sure the Filipinos will love the torta trina in Toronto. Yeah, so so um, so this is like a modified Brasso de Mercedes. Yeah. It's not as sweet and rich as yeah. the Brasso, but it's it's nice and light that yeah. people can have it's a lot. Very very original. Basically, it has custard, it has um, a sponge cake, it has cream, brulee, all in one. Yes. So it's just the perfect gift, the perfect dessert for anybody. Right. So he fell in love with the torta Trina, yes. and then eventually to you. <laughs> yeah, so By the way, Trina's my nickname. Hence. Yeah, yeah, and uh, oh, okay. when we were um, courting each other before we got married, um, she introduced me to this uh, torta trina, and I was like, "Oh, I'm not really good in um, Brasso de Mercedes," but she said, "No, it's different." So I tried it, and um, it's totally different. It's totally light. So it's very original. And as soon as I tasted it, I fell in love with it, and eventually, here we are, married <laughs> over torta trina. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.